Well, I think of them every day. I mean, every morning I get up, I got this picture on the wall, his pictures on my computer. So, I mean, every day I think about him. I mean, he never got to meet his daughter, which is probably the biggest loss. He has a little girl, two years old, that he never saw. He was going to take his mid tour leave to be home for the birth of his daughter. Ben was born in Behaven. For the first two years of his life, he lived in Behaven. And then we moved to Plymouth, and basically that's where he grew up. He went to Plymouth South High School. Ben was deployed his second time. He left towards the end of August. I got information on November 4th, and I got home, and that, that night I got a call from the, uh, my daughter-in-law that Ben was missing. Supposedly they were on a routine resupply mission and things went away. The, some of the supplies landed on this side of the river, some landed on the other side. And Ben and his buddy, they tried to cross the river, and uh, they stepped into, a, I guess, a hole, deep water, and that river runs at 15 knots, and they got swept away. And, I was drowning, yes. Devastated. It's a feeling you never want to have. I was with him in August, and we said our goodbyes. I just had a feeling deep down in my heart that was the last time I ever was going to see him, and unfortunately it was true. And I think, with this being his second tour, I just think they were, he was too overconfident, you know, that nothing was, he was invincible, you know, young kids are. So. I also had that feeling when he went away that that was going to be it. I cried my eyes out when he left. You know, m more so maybe than when I heard the news, because I just knew. I have a memory of him when he was a, a, about three, maybe two years old, and he had really short, curly hair. And I had short hair, and somebody made me get a perm. And when I came home with my short, curly hair, he just looked at me and grabbed his head like I stole his hair. <laughs> I think of the day that I was home, and I was home from college, I think, and I just... I heard a car in the driveway and I walked outside and he was walking up the house. He had come back from North Carolina to surprise the family and like he just gave me a big hug and just laughed and like when I think about that I just think about his laugh and like that big hug. Things we've done around here that I see, you know, I, when I look at it I think of him. And I just really miss his ability to make every situation fun. I mean, he just was so full of life. He would always call. Yeah, I just, I miss that. I miss um, having a big brother. I miss having someone there to call and complain or just have someone to talk to that like has known me my whole life and gets everything I'm saying and isn't there to judge me. It's just there to take care of me. He always knew how to have a good time. There's a lot of people he was friends with that thought the world of him. If you needed his help and you called him, he'd drop what he was doing, he'd be there.